Hello, guys. Hello. Hi, Rodrigo. Good evening. Thank you very much for being a part of Inglés Corporativo. Alejandro Narbona at your service. How are you today? I'm fine. I'm, I'm sick, but uh, I'm fine. Oh, well, it's really sorry to hear that you're sick. I really hope that you get well pretty soon. Okay? Okay. All right. I'm, okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, yesterday. Uh, uh huh. Yesterday? Yesterday. I learned about about um, what is the name? Um, mixed conditional. Mixed conditional is if um, only if 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 only if um, but hay otras combinaciones. No sé cómo decirlo. Yes, there are other combinations of are, conditionals. Are. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this one was with past and present. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're going to use if plus had. If I hadn't, for example, spent all my money, I would have money right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So is, and then of course, we have a, a lot of, a lot of combination of conditionals. Okay. Mm -hmm. If plus if plus had. Mm -hmm. If okay. plus had plus the verb in past participle, comma, subject. I, mm -hmm. Subject. Yeah. Okay. Subject would. Would or, or couldn't. Uh huh. Would or wouldn't. Okay. Mm -hmm. that, that's going to be one of the conditionals that we covered. Hello, Ricardo. Yeah. Hey, hello, teacher. How are you? All good, all good. Still alive, so that's, that's pretty good. All right. Hey, excellent. Um, just to recap, Rick, yesterday we were working with mixed conditionals. Okay. So what I'm going to okay. do is that I'm going to post a link. We didn't cover them all, right? But I'm just going to post the link again on the chat just for you to skip it. Okay. Right. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. I will check. All right. Fantastic. So, guys, let's get down to business and let's go ahead and share what we came here to do. Okay? So, read me, please. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Rodrigo. In this class, participants will learn vocabulary to talk about travel. In this class, participants will learn vocabulary to talk about travel. Very good. Here, um, thank you very much, Evelyn. I would recommend you to make emphasis on the end. Learn. 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 Say it again, Evelyn. Learn. Uh -huh. Exaggerate the end a little bit more. Learn. 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 There you go. There you go. We always have to pay attention to ending sounds because they uh, are very important for the message to be delivered correctly. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and mute our microphones, guys. We're going to listen to this very short video. We're going to watch this very short video. Okay. There. Ready? Look at the following chart. Remember, some adverbs can be combined with adjectives to make compound adjectives. Culturally aware, culturally sensitive, non conforming, non judgmental, open hearted, open minded, self assured self-motivated, self-reliant, self-starter. Type on our discussion box some sentences about travel using the words we just came up with. Follow my example.
Hi, let's make completely aware. All right, I was talking to myself because I was muted. All right, guys, so welcome, Freddie. This vocabulary is going to be covered super quick, okay? So say it with me, please. Culturally aware. Culturally aware. Culturally aware. Uh -huh. There you go. Culturally, if you notice, everything is like with my mouth almost closed. Culturally. 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 Culturally aware. Culturally aware. What comes to your mind when you hear the word culturally aware? Culturally. Mm -hmm. Are you culturally aware of uh, traditions in El Salvador? Mm. No? Is this new to you? Not really. Okay. So what comes to your mind then? Let's go ahead and do an exercise, guys. Let's go ahead and open um, any browser, Firefox, Chrome, etc. And let's go ahead and type this culturally aware. Now, if you want to know what something is, don't look for the meaning in Spanish because you're gonna even you're gonna get even more confused. So culturally aware meaning. And once you've done this, it's gonna give you like a description, all right? Okay. All right, so culturally awareness is the foundation of communication and it involves the ability of standing back for ourselves and becoming aware of cultural values, benefits, and perceptions. So is this complicated? Mm. No. It's a cultural word is definite of communication of so, Cultural awareness, guys, is pretty much when you are aware of your culture, of your and other cultures. Okay? So, have you ever gone to Costa Rica? Yeah. Yep. I don't know if you have noticed that they actually make a line to take the bus. All right? So, they wait patiently in order for them to take the bus. Does that happen here in El Salvador? No. <laughs> exactly. Nope. It doesn't happen. So also in some countries, or let me ask you something. Do you normally give a tip when you go to a restaurant? Yes, I, I do. Okay. Or And when you order, for example, food and they bring it to you, you order for delivery. Do you normally give tips? Ever. Ever? Like, or, or always? Or always, never. always, always. All right. So in some countries, guys, that is considered rude. Okay. So in Japan, in Japan for example. Mm -hmm. So if you give them a tip, they are going to be, they are going to feel offended. Yeah, yeah, in Japan. So there is cultural awareness, guys, that you are aware of your culture and someone else's mm. culture. That's why you're gonna be able to interact with people from other cultures. Yes, is it clear? clear. Yeah. Yep, all right, fantastic. Give me a second. So th th that's the way that you can find for new vocabulary. Next one, mm -hmm. cultural sensitive. Culturally sensitive. Culturally sensitive. Mm -hmm. Culturally, culturally, culturally sensitive. sensitive. Uh -huh. What comes to your mind when you hear culturally sensitive? For example, they, uh, that you said that in some countries when you left a tip, mm -hmm. maybe it's not correct. Okay. For them. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and double check. I think I wrote it up here. Cultural sensitivity. Is being aware that cultural differences and similarities between people exist without assigning them a value, positive or negative, better or worse, right or wrong. It's for you pretty much to accept, like Freddie is saying, everybody's culture. Clear? Everybody is? Everybody's culture. 
to accept everybody's culture. That means that you are sensitive to it and you understand, you don't judge. You don't say that. Yeah. Okay, like... Sure. Uh, mm -hmm. Like be tolerant. <laughs> yep, but, but mm. regarding culture. Mm -hmm. okay. To be tolerant with other cultures. Yep, good. So, for example, if you go to India, don't eat a cow. Okay? No. Because you're going to get in trouble. They consider cows as gods. Sinner. Uh-huh. And we eat them here. For example, Korea. Um, North Korea is not culturally sensitive. It's not. Uh-huh. It could be because they ban a lot of things, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. So, guys, now that we have culturally aware and culturally sensitive, I wanted to please try to talk about the different things you know about other cultures. All right? As you know in advance, I wanted to talk as much as you can so you can share. For example, what I shared about Costa Rica that I love, they make a line to take the bus. Here is pretty much the strongest. It doesn't matter <laughs> if there's an old lady trying to get in the bus or there's an, or an old guy, a pregnant woman, they don't care. They just want to get in and have a seat. All right? So we're going to talk about the different things we know from other countries. Clear? Okay. All right, fantastic. I'm going to open the, the room, guys. Please make sure you ask a lot of questions. Please ask a lot of questions. Okay. All right? Invite sent. Please accept it. I'm going to be visiting you to check your progress. There we go. But I am here. Okay. <laughs> that's so excellent. I am so sorry, teacher, because I can't receive the lesson. And I can't be. I, I can't. I couldn't be here uh, yesterday and the and the, the day Tuesday. before. <laughs> the and day yet, before. And here is the day before. Don't worry. Don't worry. The don't day worry. before. <laughs> Same story for me, teacher. I had you for uh, me internet reception problems, but don't I'm worry. Here. Don't worry guys all right so thank you very much for letting me know that you care that you care about your learning process now let's go ahead and show it to me by talking what do you know about other cultures about cultural uh, um, awareness etc okay uh, Maribel is ladies first <laughs> what Maribel, you what? <laughs> ladies first. ladies Maribel. first well, uh, first. I think I, uh, teacher, I had a boss from from Costa Rica, but I think they 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 believe that they are better than than us, but Salvadorian people. So, <laughs> oh my God. Um, <laughs> I, you know, that's. Oh, oh, do you think that is true? Uh, I would say I that so. they are not culturally sensitive, not all of them, because we cannot make this a standard, but I do know that, let's go ahead and accept something, okay? I like to be objective. They have uh -huh. a lot of good things in their country, but that, does, that doesn't give them the right to think themselves better than other people. And I'm talking about any single country, not just Costa Rica. <laughs> so let's say that let's say that I won't make any comment due to due to cultural sensitivity. Uh, a friend told me one time that Costa Rica in Spanish, Costa Rica, el vecino again, el vecino que aparenta ser rico pero es pobre. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right. So uh, I was I was thinking about excellent, excellent. I, I was thinking about well about talking about okay. good things. Uh -huh. uh, uh, what, uh, how do you say in crisis? Crisis. Crisis. Okay. Um, for example, we we live in a country in crisis uh, for. 
15 years, uh, but um, but in Costa Rica, mm -hmm. uh, they have some problems with with the treasury, or um, it's like um, IRS in United States uh, or Ministerio de Hacienda mm -hmm. with how do you say recaudación? Perhaps collection. Or collection uh, or income collection. Okay. They have some problems with income collection, uh, but it's a little problem. Uh, uh, if you if you if you if you see the problems in El Salvador about uh, income collection and the problems in Costa Rica, um, the problem in El Salvador is, is biggest. Bigger. It's bigger, it's bigger. But uh, they don't know, uh, they don't know uh, what is a, 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 a crisis. Uh, yeah, a they, they, crisis. Have, they have a different reality. So, uh, all right. I mean, I appreciate your talking, guys, but let's go ahead and talk about the good things of other countries. <laughs> All right? Okay. Because we can always talk bad about people or, or we're just giving our opinion. Okay? Ah. Yeah, and, and that's good because we're practicing. But let's go ahead and have some uh, positive energy. Yeah, yeah. Positive. I yeah. think, teacher, I think Canada, right. is, Canada is a good... Uh, country to live because uh, uh, Canada is a is a country that uh, help help uh, help uh, other countries too. Okay. Uh -huh. So they are very sens sensitive. Uh -huh. Okay. I now we're talking. Canada. They are different. They are different uh, to USA. I think so. Different from the yeah, it's different because it's a, it's another culture. It's uh, uh, similar to the European culture. European. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you European. Can, you can England. There uh -huh. you go, guys. Now we're talking about the good things. Let me go ahead and check how the other group is going. Make sure you all participate, all right? You're doing good. Okay. okay. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, never, I never imagined that Pochoclo it was um popcorn. Popcorn. <laughs> Pochoclo. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, continue guys. I'm not here. Okay. In our country there are a lot of food too that uh have Different names. For example, in uh, here in Santa Ana, Arawa, you name Topoillo. And in, in San Salvador, Charabus. In San Salvador. It's the same thing. Oh. In San Salvador. Mm -hmm. I didn't know yes, that. <laughs> Topoillo. Yes. Here in Santa Ana, it's Topoillo. Oh, so you're from Santa you Ana. I live here in Santa Ana, but I I born in Huachapan. Oh, I was born. Say it with me, please. I was I born was in Huachapan. I was born. I was born in Huachapan. Okay. All right. That's good. Good to know. All right. Continue. Another, I'm not here. Another example for uh, in Mexico, we we say um. Orange juice, 
in Mexico is agua de agua de naranja, agua de cola, and <laughs> we have another name to say um, gaseosa coca. <laughs> Oh yeah, in that's Guatemala cool. is that the soda's name agua. Mm -hmm. And how do they call agua? How do they call water? I don't have idea. Agua mineral. <laughs> oh, they actually call it pure, yeah. pure water. Dame agua. Agua. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh. They call it pure, wa pure water. All righty, guys. So that's great. Thank you very much. Let's go back to the other. So let's go back oh. to the discussion. Okay. All right, guys. So now what we're going to do is that we're going to check the other topics. Were you able to practice your English? Yes, teacher. All right, we very good, very good. So now what we're gonna check right now is a little bit more of vocabulary, all right? So say with me please, non-conforming. 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 All right, only the girls are repeating. What about the guys? Where's the guys' power? Come on, non-conforming. 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 There you go. So what comes to your mind when you hear non-conforming? Non is for negative, right? Mm -hmm. The opposite of conforming. The opposite, <laughs> exactly. Say it with me, the opposite of conforming. The, op the opposite, the opposite of, conforming. of conforming. Very good. How do you say lo opuesto? The opposite. Conforming. Very good. And what is the meaning of conforming? When you feel comfortable with something? Exactly. When you feel comfortable with something. When you settle also. Cuando te estableces, when you settle. So a non-conforming person is always looking for something else. Whether that's good or bad. Okay? What do you think, guys? I want to hear you. Do you think that non-conforming, and let's go ahead and do the same exercise. What is, what is uh, non-conforming? We're going to check it right here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going to do the same exercise so you get used to looking for information in English. No conforming meaning. Not in accordance or agreement with prevailing norms, standards, or customs. Not conforming. All right. So pretty much you don't settle. All right. You do not agree with most things. You're always looking for something else. Another okay. definition, let's look for it, means that someone is doing things differently from the norm. All right, people is people in authority tend to dislike non-conforming because it makes people harder to control. So pretty much it's someone that doesn't settle. All right, someone doesn't accept things easily for the good or for the bad. All right, is it clear guys? Yes. 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 Very good. So, what do you think? I want to hear you. Do you think non-conforming is something good or bad? Depend. It depends. Because if you if you want it to be better in in some areas about your life of your life of your life, you can be non-conforming about mm -hmm. the about the, the the ways the, the ways to make uh, some things. For example, if you you are unconforming, non non conforming, non non conforming with with your with your weight. For example, all right, uh, you can make some exercise, change your habits to. You can do we, exercise. You can do it, yeah. Okay, good job. Actually, uh, this is what, Ricardo or Rodrigo? Rodrigo. Rodrigo, okay, thank you very much. What about, hey, Lydia, good to see you. What about, or when, when do you think non-conforming is something bad? 
I think it's bad when you you have rules in your work, in your church, anywhere that you have to complain. You have and to complain or you have to follow? To follow, okay, to follow. Mm -hmm. And uh, especially if, if uh, they, I don't know if I want to say, if I will say it uh, correctly, but if they, uh, if, if you don't follow, mm -hmm. you compromise your name and the institution name. Okay, yeah, I totally agree. So if you don't follow the rules, you're gonna be in trouble. Do you guys agree with, with Nidia? Yeah, I, yeah, I agree. Okay, very good. So let's go with the other one, non-judgmental. Non-judgmental. Non non uh -huh. What comes to your mind when you hear this? <laughs> Judge, what judge. what is what is the meaning judge. of judge? Uh huh, and it's also the person in court, right? Uh -huh. So non judgmental. So non judgment judgmental. Avoiding moral judgments, meaning pretty much that you don't criticize. All right, you don't make or you don't give your opinion about things that they are not asking you. Yeah, you are you are objective. <laughs> oh yeah, it can be that you're you're actually um, keep your objectives always clear. So guys, being non -judge judgmental is that something good or bad? What do you think? Good. It's good. It's good. Why, it's good. Ricardo? Uh, how do you say eloquente? Let me check. Let me open another one. I like this this website, guys. Lingue. Uh huh. Eloquent, but what is it that you're able to work to use your words mm -hmm. properly? Hello. For example, oh, okay. I, I think it's okay. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. eloqu eloquent. 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 Let's go ahead and play it so you can hear it. Eloquent. Did you hear that? Yeah. yeah. Eloquent. That's why Eloquent. I love this website. And it also gives you a lot of context. Look, it gives you context yeah. in Spanish and it gives you context in English. Right? Oopsie. Uh -huh. Go ahead, continue. Okay, I, I think it's, it's good because uh, it's, uh, it's good for for a person, for a formal person to be uh, eloquent and not judgmental. Not non-judgmental. Not judgmental. All right, very good. So guys, listen up. We're gonna have a, a couple of minutes of discussion in order for you to discuss both, non-conforming and non-judgmental. Because we all have opinions about this and I want you to give both points of view. The negative point of view and the affirmative point of view. And the positive. In this case, it is positive. Clear? Yes. Clear. All right. Let's go ahead and accept the email, guys. And when I ask you to come back, try to do it as fast as possible. I'm going to be checking your rooms. All right. Let's start it. Nidia, let me know if you received the invite, okay? All right. Please accept it. All right, Julia, did you get the invite? Hello? All right. Well, I hope, I think that you can hear me. Let me go ahead and check. Well, now she's there. Fantastic. I don't want to. Yes, yes. But I judge... Uh, from my thoughts of my of the way that I act, and I know 
I have to accept that all the people is not like me or doesn't think like me. You accept or you don't accept? I have to accept. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. Because, um, for example, if I, in my work, I have to work from 8.30 to 12.30 and I work hard and I want the people work as much I, as hard I, as I do. Good. Let but me help you with they, that. Uh, begin, begin to uh, talk about, I don't know, um, fashion or things that I think are not um, important. important. I criticize them. But I know at the end, I, I think we all need time to, to relax and and think and talk something different from work strictly. Okay. Okay. Um, on this one, Nidia, the only, it was great. The only thing that I would recommend, that I would recommend you to say is, for example, I think you said, because I, I try to, I try to stop you, but I think you didn't hear me. So let me try to, to remember. You said something like, I work hard and I want people to work as hard as I do. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can say it that way. I work hard and I want people to work as hard as, hard as, I, as I do. do. Okay. As and so, as she makes, so she makes a judge. I, I judge the people that, mm -hmm. doesn't, that don't work as hard as I do. There you go. Okay. But, I, but, I, I, think, but I, I, I think... But I think that they don't work as hard as I do. Uh -huh. But I think a, a good example about non-judgmental is, for example, if we accept the, the, the way of a gay, for example, uh, maybe because the, the meaning is avoiding moral judgments. Mm -hmm. yeah, in the moral, moral case. Aha, uh -huh. es como más moral. Uh -huh. Something like this, I think. I, I think, I, I think we, um, my, uh, our mind, uh, yeah, our how, mind, I, our mind is, um, it's a power. It's a power. It's powerful. A, it's powerful. Um, but is, um, for example, uh, if you conforming with something, um, but is the pen that. If you want, and um, it depends it, if depends. you want, mm -hmm. it depends if you want or not. It depends if you want or not. Correct. Okay. And um, now judgmental, I think, um, is focused on judge of the people, of other people, I think. And for example, <laughs> to me, I'm sorry, but I, but I will say, but uh, when I, when I, 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 I watch, uh, or I see a, a woman with tattoo, I think this woman is a crazy woman, I don't know how to say. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's not, it's not, not true, but it's not, it's not true. It's not true, mm -hmm. but it's something it's, that it's your idea. <laughs> yeah, it's, I, I don't know, but I am trying to change this in my life. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thank you for sharing. Uh -huh, continue. Another situation could be, for example, with the 
with the, the abortion, there are some people that think that the abortion is a big thing. I feel that that kind of person are not conforming. But maybe you have your idea about it. But uh, you don't have any problem with other person that think different about you. Like, like you, sorry, like you. Like your idea. You can that just say, oh? you can just say people who think different. That's mm -hmm. it. Who think people different think or differently. Say differently because it's better if you use that. People who think differently. You don't have problem with that kind of person. That's not non-judgment. Mm -hmm. Non-judgmental, correct. Non-judgmental. Mm -hmm. All right, very good, guys. You're doing great. Let's go back to the main room. Okay. All right, guys. So thank you very much for coming back. Now we're going to check the last couple of uh, terms we got. Say with me, please. Open hearted. Open hearted. Uh huh. Open heart is you have your heart pretty much open. All right. Open heart. Open hearted. And also we have open minded. Say it with me. Open minded. Open minded. Mm -hmm. Open minded. Pretty much, guys, is that. Um, you don't judge, you don't get like shocked for other cultures, you accept people for who they are. You have an open minded. And the opposite of this is close minded. A person will close, close, uh -huh, minded. close minded. That will be the opposite. So let's go ahead and work with it. Super quick so we can have time to work. Open minded meaning. All right, willing to consider new ideas. Unprejudiced, unprejudiced. So open-minded is that you accept new ideas, you accept other people, is it clear? Sure. Is it? Yep, all right, but very good. I don't. I'm sorry? The first one. Uh, the, yep, we're going, we're going there, open. Hearted. Open hearted. Open hearted, we have it as expressing or displaying one's warm and kindly feelings without concealment. So, pretty much, guys, is that you express your feelings, right? Your heart is pretty much open and you are not afraid or ashamed of expressing what you feel. Okay? So, guys, yes. let's go ahead and do something. I'm going to open the break rooms again. And you're going to talk about the benefit of being open, open hearted and, and the, the bad things, right? Same with um, open minded. All right. Let's go ahead and accept the invite, please. We're going to be visiting you. Right, let's check it. You are, are you an open hearted girl? An an mm. open hearted. An open hearted. Mm. It's the pen of the time of the in the month. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on. It, it depends on the time. On the month. The, the time, uh, <laughs> time of the month. <laughs> okay. And open hearted? No. Open minded? minded? Mm. In some things, yes. But <laughs> in the... I don't remember how they say in the majority, the most, most of the time. 
Most time. Most time. Uh, no, I am um, a classic person. Classic or, or close minded? Like you don't accept wow, close as easily. Close minded. Mm -hmm. Okay. So give us some examples and you guys ask questions. So you can all express <gasps> and talk about yourself. For example, the last 14, well, the last Valentine's Day. <laughs> mm -hmm. there, there are a lot of persons that, and that they especially Gift. are open hearted. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. All right, and, and what, do you think? What, what do you think, guys? Um, I wanted to express your, your, your ideas, but also I wanted to say if you think it's good or it's bad, it's good being open-hearted, is, is it good being open-minded, is it bad, give your opinion. It's 50-50 for me. Yeah, in the middle it's okay. Mm -hmm. Because, for example, uh, that kind of person that have a lot of problems, uh, for me, it's not correct to that. Uh, for example, if you receive a, a bad answer or something like that, you don't cry in the street or in the bus or with if other person that is unknown. 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 Uh -huh, desconocido, unknown. Continue, guys. to the other people but sometimes with people you don't know pretty well it will take you to bad consequences okay hey teacher we are talking about uh lgtb plus people mm -hmm. uh, about open mind about respect because they are humans and they have rights and feelings yes what do you think about teacher what do, what do I think about? I think that you got to practice your English. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I, I respect everybody. I'm an open-minded person. Um, in every... Listen, I have my beliefs. And I'm pretty sure you have your own beliefs too. As long as nobody tries to change my beliefs, I'm okay. Simple. So, okay. Yeah. Simple That's as that. And I can listen to them, you know, to their argument. But, as, I mean, if they convince me, yes, of course, I can change my mindset. However, if they are being pushy, hey, support us, or hey, go against them, I don't I don't that. like pushy mm -hmm. people. Exactly. Pushy. So, what does mean pushy? Pushy, that they insist too much. Oh. <laughs> uh -huh. Like telemarketers, for example. Telemarketers. Uh, that's right. All right, continue, guys. I'm not here. I'm just to check on you. <clears throat> I, I have some friends in uh, difference, uh, but I I think they have uh, they have uh, rights in in. It's not only for for rights. It's it's to these people is very interesting because our professionals are in this case are engineers, uh, people very smart, very smart people, very smart people. Uh, in El Salvador, when you talk about about case. I do you only think um, is people very weird, but uh, very I, weird people. Weird, yeah. very weird people. But I know people that is very interesting and very smart, uh, or an entrepreneurship. Uh, uh, they they have uh, they are um, investors. Oh. Uh, but it's, it's only 
they have different different uh, different, orientation. Different. different different orientation uh, sexual orientation uh, let's call it preferences uh, okay preference mm -hmm. preferences we just were talking preference about. Mm -hmm. okay all right very good guys uh did all of you talk no me, me no <laughs> not me all right so in this one guys i recommend you everyone try to talk okay so express your opinion please maribel then we go back to the main room and we close it up okay, okay. in my case um I'm not open mind with the preference sex, sexual in my, about I think about gays. I don't accept them, and I think it's um. So I have, I am, I am making a judge, okay? Judgment. But judgment, okay. Making, I am making. So uh, I think it's an a mental. Is is something mental? Uh huh. So God, God, God did a man and a woman. All right, we're bringing everybody back. All right, guys. So right now. We're gonna go to the last couple, last couple of uh, terms. So self-assured, say it with me, self-assured. Self-assured. Self-motivated. Self-motivated. Self-reliant. Self-reliant. Self-centered. Self-centered. Here uh, is actually, with ed self-centered <laughs> self mm -hmm. so what do you think is the meaning of self-assured uh, self-assured uh-huh pretty much self-assured that you're very comfortable with yourself self-motivated yeah. uh-huh and in english to be positive uh -huh. And who, who motivates you? Do you wait for someone else to motivate you or do you motivate yourself? Myself. I, I motivate myself. myself. Mm -hmm. When you motivate yourself. Self-reliant? I don't know what reliant means. Como resiliente? But, but resilience is when you try and try and try. Pretty much self-reliant is that you are very confident on yourself. Something similar to self-assured. So, okay. for example, if I tell you I rely on you, that means that I trust you. Okay. Right? So, self-reliance is pretty much that you trust yourself in your abilities. Okay. All right? And self-centered means, guys, that... Well, what, what does it mean? You tell me. You think only in... Like, egocentric. There you go. You think only on yourself, egocentric. Correct. So guys, um, this is gonna be the last round. We're gonna work for three minutes. I want you to choose one, and I want you to choose the, the, the one that applies to yourself. All right? For okay. example, self-reliant applies to me because I believe in what I can do, and if I cannot do something and I'm interested in doing it, I'm gonna do my best to learn how to do it. And I'm not gonna stop until I make it happen, until I achieve it. All right, so that's what I believe that I can do in pretty much everything in my life. So let's go ahead and do it. We got three minutes. Make sure you all speak in these three minutes, and then we go back to wrap it up. Accept the invite, please. Choose one and explain why. Super quick. <laughs> okay. Uh, which one we we how do you say it like choose. choose choose which one? So you choose your own, Freddy, you choose yours, Julia, you oh, choose okay. yours. I understand. Mm -hmm. You need to choose one. 
Exactly. And try to exactly. give us as much information as you can, but quick. Start, ready. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I would like to apply on my life to be self-assured. Well, maybe especially in English, because maybe I know some words, some vocabulary, or I have a, an idea that oh, I have to say any word. But when I'm practice with that word, I don't. Um, I don't have the good pronunciation that maybe I have in my mind. So that um, for that situation, I feel some nervous when, for example, the teacher asks some question, something like that. Maybe I know in my mind, but I can say like like I want it. Good. And I know I have to practice a lot, but maybe that's the goal. Good. Good job. All right. Very good. Next one. Fantastic. Well, well good job, sir. Okay. So, Julia, you're next. You're right next to Freddy, okay. so it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. So, I choose uh, self-motivated. And sometimes I think it's necessary, necessary to do it and uh, sometimes I can do it for me. I can motivate it to other people, but I can not do it. <laughs> and, and I think I need to be a little self-centered to, to improve my my areas, for example, in English. My areas. Areas, uh, for example, in English, I think I need self motivated more. And also, I think. Okay. All right. Enough. I have so who's missing? Robert, right? Yeah. All right. Go in ahead. my case, I would say that I'm. Uh, self-reliant all right the reason why uh, i think that i'm self-reliant it's that usually when i when i have an issue i always trust uh, I, sorry i always trust in all the abilities and all the skills that i have developed through Devel the, developed that i have developed through the years Mm -hmm. In order to find a solution, all right, or or find an answer for that type of situation or that type of ter of technical issue. Okay, that's good. All right, good, good, good. So, um, I think Evelyn is missing, right? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Go ahead, Evelyn. Last one is self center. Um, uh -huh. I don't think that I I don't I I I am not a a person self center. And okay. I'm not self centered. That's it. I'm not I'm self -centered. not I'm not self centered. Um, um, <laughs> or, or maybe when I speak about my logros, I don't achievements, remember. achievement, uh, I presume a little bit. Maybe I brag, <laughs> brag, B R A G, brag. I'm sorry. Uh, so I'm take note. Okay. Um, in in that case, yes, I think I'm a little bit self-centered, but in other case, I think no. Okay. All right. So very good, guys. Thank you all for participating. Let's go back to the main room. Okay. Okay.
Alrighty, guys. So before I let you go, because we only have one minute, before I let you go, guys, I want to say thank you for logging in tonight. And I really hope that you have been able to practice your speaking skills, because that's my objective, for you to practice your speaking skills. Now, a couple of announcements, guys. Tomorrow is the last class, okay? So I'm okay. going to try to do a quick review for your final exam. I'm not going to be with you in the final exam, <clears throat> but I can try to help you. So please go ahead and log in tomorrow. It's the last one. And uh, make sure to send the documentation if you haven't, because like I said, I think there's something else for you. And you have until Sunday to complete the platform. To complete everything. Okay. Okay, midterm exam, okay. all of the okay. assessments, and the final exam. So that's why it's important for you to be here tomorrow. Guys, okay. my name is Alejandro Narbona. It was a pleasure having you here. Well, not physically in English Corporativo, but on behalf of English Corporativo, thank you very much. <laughs> I have yourself a good time, and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, thank you. Take care. Okay, okay. take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.